This video demonstrates how to add an invoice to your existing customer. So let's pick one of the customers. Let's tap on the add button here. And among the various types of records you can add to a customer, let's scroll down and pick add invoice. Let's tap on that. You will see various information here that you can enter for this customer's invoice. You can tap on the I or informational buttons to pop up the windows where you can enter different information relevant to that particular section of the invoice. The company information is pre-filled from the settings. So after downloading the app, if you haven't already, please take a few minutes to enter the business information for your company. Then there is invoice number, invoice date, and other things in the top right corner, followed by mailing address and the billing address of your customer. You can also tap on the green button here to add the items for your invoice. You can enter description, quantity, rate, and amount. So let's try to enter something here for test. Quantity, let's say it's 55. The rate, let's say it's $10. And the amount will be calculated automatically for you. Let's tap done. Then in the bottom here, you will see total amount, tax, and total amount due updated as well. If you want to enter tax information, type on the I button again. And let's say we enter tax for 10%. Then type on done again. More information, you can either offer things like the terms for your invoice or discount offers or even electronic signature test. You noticed here that as I was selecting different items or different template names, they were getting connected to each other back to back or they were getting chained to each other. This is great way to save you time by entering repetitive information as a part of templates. You can add a template by tapping on the plus button here. You can enter the name and the text for the template. And after you save this template, it will be available for you to pick up from this list. After we hit done, all that information that was connected to each other is now available in the more information box. We're going to now hit tab save. And the information is available here. You can also print your invoice or have a quick look as a PDF by tapping on the appropriate buttons. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.